working as a freelancer and being my own boss has been the best decision in my life. However, it might not be for everybody and I am recording this video for you guys to let you know the pros and cons of working from home and being your own boss. Number one is having your own freedom. You can literally work from anywhere at any time with any outfit. Having the freedom was always been my biggest value. I just wanted to travel whenever I want to and I wanted to be able to set my own working hours and I didn't want it to have only 30 minutes of lunchtime and I didn't want it to sit in the office at 8 a.m. So when you are working freelance, you are your own boss. You set the times. Now again, I'm not telling you that you are not working at all. I'm just telling you that you decide when you work. And with that, you also decide where you work. So when you work for yourself, you don't have to commute to go anywhere. You can just go from your bedroom to the living room to the kitchen and work from anywhere. So being your own boss gives you the freedom to work from wherever, whenever, in what outfit. I used to have a dress code. Now I don't. I can just do whatever I want to do. I also wanted to point out one thing that some people might say is a negative, and that is having different clients as your own mini boss. So what I mean with that is that a lot of people say, well, now you don't have your, have like a big boss, but you have several different clients and they tell you what to do, which in my opinion is not necessarily true. I, and that is a positive, get to choose who my client is. I get to choose who I want to work with and if I feel aligned to work with a client and if the client does not feel aligned for me anymore after a few months of working together, I can just quit the contract. So I don't see working with different clients as having several mini bosses because again, I choose very specifically who I want to work with and I'm super excited to work with them. And with my clients, it's usually already becoming some sort of friendship because we're creating the content together and they are super excited about working with me. So to me, it does not feel like having several bosses. Another massive positive is that you have unlimited possibilities when working online. If you decide to start working as a freelance social media manager, you can also decide to stop working as it and to pursue something different. Maybe you want to transition into an agency. Maybe you want to be a coach. Whatever your desire is, you are the boss. You can do that. And then the last thing is you have unlimited earning potential. Now, I usually don't talk about money that much because I chose to be my own boss because of the freedom. But if you're in a nine to five, you are in a specific um, bracket on how much money you can make. And then maybe you get a pay rise or a manager job and you can make a little bit more. With freelancing, it's unlimited. You can take on so many more clients and then at one point you can start outsourcing things so then you can even have more clients. Now, I'm not telling you you can become a millionaire overnight, but I'm telling you you can make a lot of money, way more in my opinion, than working in a simple nine to five. Now, of course, there are also negative sides and especially when talking about money, some people do prefer to have a steady income, knowing that every month on the 1st or on the 30th, you'll get the same amount of money. That makes it easier for you to plan, for example, like if you want to go on a holiday or if you want to invest in a house. If you work as a freelancer, it's going to be a little bit different. You don't necessarily know every single month how much money is coming in and you might need to hustle in order to get a new client, which brings us to my next point. And that's the hustle part. I don't necessarily like to talk about hustle, but when you first start out, you need to put in a lot of effort in order to get clients. 
just because you put out the website or a social media account doesn't necessarily mean clients are just going to fly in. You need to have some sort of strategy and a consistent lead generation process in order to make money. Now, this was my biggest mistake when I first started out, because at one point, I believe I had over 10 clients and I was making great money and I thought like, this is fun. But then at one point, a lot of clients were just finished working with me, not because they didn't like it anymore, but because usually they stay between three and five months. So, and I kind of forgot to onboard new clients in that time. So then I realized now I have to hustle a lot in order to get that many more clients. So that means you need to have a specific system in place, which brings us to our next step of the con list. And that is that you actually have to figure out yourself what you're doing on a daily basis. Now, of course, there are people like me who help you along the way with the social shop program, and that is basically like a roadmap, but I'm not sitting next to you on a daily basis telling you what exactly to do. Unlike when you go to an office, your boss or your manager tells you exactly what to do on a daily basis. Now, some people do actually enjoy that. They enjoy having someone who tells them what to do so they don't feel overwhelmed or they just have a clear structure. If that is you, freelancing might not be your thing because you have to figure out your own work systems and what to do on a daily basis. And with that, it comes to my last point, and that is time management. Even though you have complete freedom, that can also be overwhelming because now you need to figure out how to structure your own time. When do you want to have your free time and when are you going to work and what kind of work are you going to do on a daily basis? Because some people then end up doing nothing or just like making a holiday constantly and some people end up working too much. So you need to have a good system in order for you to still make money, but still have freedom. So you need to be good at time management and creating your own structures. Again, for me, it has been the best decision ever. And I would love for you to hear what are your pros and cons as a freelancer, if you already work freelance, or if this has helped you make your decision. Let me know below. Bye.